Oh, what is going on, guys? Cabal here, and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops 2 free for all action, yo! Now, for those of you that know me, there can only be one uh, reason why I'm playing free for all, and yeah, that is because I'm bringing it back the poor man's gun game. Now, before I describe what the poor man's gun game is, I'm going to tell you what I'm using right now. Uh, I have, let's see here, Flak Jacket and Ghost, I believe, for my blue perks. Uh, green is Scavenger, and then I believe I am rocking the Dexterity and Extreme Conditioning for my red perks. And for the main weapon of choice, it's going to be the F7. Now, as you saw in the beginning, I do have a Ride Shield. I'll explain that in a little bit. And I also have a concussion grenade for my only uh, kind of explosive type grenade thing. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to describe to you what the poor man's gun game is. Uh, what it was is in the original Black Ops, you could play gun game where you wager some of your COD tokens to uh, get shot from behind. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, you, you use tokens in the gun game, and you uh, there were essentially wager matches, for those of you that don't remember. And with that being done, uh, you can, you know, win a lot of tokens doing it that way. But, I decided to do it the fun way, which is you go into free-for-all, use the shittiest weapon possible, and then uh, pick up the person's gun and go from there. Uh, I always, as soon as I killed somebody, I would have to run to pick up that gun every single time, no matter what, even if it led to my death. Um, so that, that was kind of the rule. And then the objective was to win, essentially. Get in the top three, which is considered a win in free-for-all, and go from there. Uh, so, with that being said, uh, I'm bringing it back for Black Ops 2, where I'm going to jump into free-for-all. I'm going to use the F7, which is the first... Uh, pistol that you get and I need to uh, kill somebody pick up their gun and keep going from there now the one thing I forgot to do for this game was the kill streaks you weren't allowed to get any uh, kills from your kill streaks so I usually ran like the UAV stuff like that I do have the UAV on this time but I still have it on my FU kill streak class per se where uh, which that essentially means that I Throw up the UAV, get enough kills to get my Guardian, and then the Sentry Gun, and then just promptly shit all over people. <laughs> uh, but I need to change that for the next time I do this. And usually it's a live commentary as well. Um, this time I'm doing it as a normal comm because I actually use this for one of my clips in my fun little uh, return video. Um, now the reason why I'm using the Riot Shield, and this guy's just so full of fail. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I'm using the Riot Shield is because with Black Ops 2, as I mentioned, uh, the spawns are completely awful. So, needing a gun, since none of the... See, right here is a prime example of what I was about to talk about. Um, since I needed to pick up a bad gun, and none of the guns are really just, like, awful, uh, I decided to start off with a pistol. Now, the reason why I have the Riot Shield on is because people are always spawning behind you, people camping, stuff like that. So, the reason why I have the Riot Shield on is to protect my butt. Because <laughs> I'm tired of getting riddled with bullets in the butt, and that is an amazing kill with a ballistic knife, sir. Well done. Uh, so, I never use the Riot Shield as a weapon. Um... I only pick up, I only use my pistol for the first kill and then go to pick up uh, my guns. And see right there, right there. Riot shield for the win, and I do not understand how that guy didn't kill me. Only a promptly shotgun from behind. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to start bringing back the poor man's gun game where I jump into free for all. Need to get into the top three for the win. Preferably win it outright. But, you know, that can't always happen with people camping in these spawns. So, I'm just going to do my best to get in the top three and hopefully just absolutely destroy people using their own weapons. Now, this time I actually do a uh, pretty, pretty decent job. I absolutely love that I picked up this guy's stuff. And then there's the Guardian. And so, I thought throwing this concussion grenade would paralyze it for a second, but no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's a thing. 
I'm actually thinking about switching out dexterity for engineer, just so I could see when this where those traps are, and that guy just fails miserably at trying to kill me. Uh, and the, the good thing about having scavengers is if I pick up somebody's gun and it's running really low on ammo, die. Uh, I can get myself a free clip essentially right before I pick up the or right after I pick up their gun so that way I can keep the ammo uh, going that's why uh, it might not seem like a good idea god damn this guy with the knife uh, it might not seem like a good idea at the time because I'm switching guns so con like in a constant basis but I want to make sure that if the guns almost empty I can at least get a clip in for so I can get my next kill uh, now here I, ha I have a fart moment because I don't know which gun was his because there's like 15 guns there. And as you notice, I'm only going to essentially two spots in this entire map and I'm winning right now. It was that room there and it's also going to be that room up top because people just keep camping there. And you think that they would have figured out by now that I'm catching on to you, I'm going to keep killing you there. But no, no, they, they don't. <laughs> Uh, that, that's one. That's one of the main things that annoys me about Black Ops 2 is like the camping and all that stupid stuff. But uh, uh, overall, I want to say it's definitely one of the better COD games. Uh, I'm definitely getting a lot more out of this. I can't believe that this guy just failed miserably trying to kill me. That is why I have the flak jacket. But unfortunately, flak jacket doesn't protect you from C4 after you just ran through everything else. Uh, so that's a thing. I'm right there, I forgot I had flak jacket, so I ran from it instead of running in to try to kill whoever's camping there. And right here, I thought that was a dead <laughs> I thought that was a dead body, but that was just me. That was just me. <laughs> um, so right now I'm finally losing for the first time since I started going on my killing sprees. I, I'm pretty sure at least. Uh, but I actually I actually did end up pulling out a pretty favorable score considering how I am actually playing this map because th uh, this map isn't exactly the greatest and uh, it it's pretty good for short range but not exactly the greatest for long range so that's why I'm rock I'm actually doing pretty well with the pistol and this guy up here is really freaking annoying me sucker <laughs> uh, so yeah that's a thing that this is one of the things I'm talking about. Like, people keep trying to be... Now here, quick thought, uh, here I'm kind of in a sticky situation because the guy was rocking the uh, knife so I couldn't pick it up. So now I end up getting the executioner with the long barrel on it and I actually get a kill with it, which cracks me up. <laughs> Try to fake this guy out. Um, but uh, so many people are just trying to be like the worm now where they're running the bastard perks as I call them uh, I think blame truth calls it that as well um, and it's ridiculous you, you think they would have done something by now to fix that but nothing they, they haven't done anything I'm actually it's really disappointing the lack of support that Treyarch has given this game uh, simply I can't believe, watch this part here, I can't believe I killed that guy because I stunned myself. Uh, it, it's really disheartening because Treyarch did a pretty good job and this is another part that is full of fail because I'm terrible at the sniper rifle. Uh, and then I end up dying there anyway. Um, it really disappoints me because in Black Ops, Treyarch actually put out a decent amount of support from it. Like they, for the most part, had the spawns fixed and everything like that. Uh, they did a much better job with the connectivity of the game as well um, and it just seems like with Black Ops 2 they just like you know what screw it I don't even occur anymore and so they're just freaking it's like they're not even trying like I do not understand it because as I mentioned before the support that they gave for Black Ops why not Black Ops 2 they still haven't fixed the spawning system they still haven't fixed the uh, uh, latency issues that's in this game like it, there's been times where even when I'm host and I'm still getting just absolutely mauled by people because the connection is just so bad that even when you're host it doesn't do anything and it's really disheartening because I like this game a lot I really do unfortunately though there's 
just no support. I mean, they've tweaked some of the guns here and there, stuff like that, but I I don't understand why they just stopped supporting it. It doesn't make sense to me. As my computer screen goes to sleep, I can't see what I'm dark! <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the thing. I tried to get a dolphin dive kill there for the final. Uh, so that wraps it up, guys. I went 28-15. and 15. I ended up winning uh, the poor man's gun game challenge. And look, a random fucking Betty for the final kill. Whatever. Uh, so, yeah. That's going to be all for this edition. Look for more uh, coming up. I'll have a little more of a scheduling thing uh, after I... Uh, get my next video up. I'll give you guys a little more heads up of how I'm going to start uploading as well. So this is Cabal here signing off. Leave yourself a comment, like, rating, subscribe as well if you enjoyed. And I will catch you guys on the flippity floppity pancake thang. Peace!